there guys, how's it going? So, um, I'm here with another video. Um, this is my new look. Um, recently dyed my hair. Um, when I say recently, I dyed it literally like an hour ago. So, it's pretty fresh, quite vibrant at the minute, and I feel as though I'm a little bit washed out. And I need some makeup to bring everything together and plus as well I'm going out so um, I'm gonna go for a simple look because when you got hair like this I think sometimes over traumatic eyes can look a little bit too much with hair um, as bright as this so um, so I've got three foundations I've got this Mac um, face and body foundation um, in NC15 um, I've never used it before so I'm going to give it a go and I'm going to mix it with this um, number 7 foundation um, and this is tanned so it's slightly more darker but um, yeah the two of them would be a great mixture and I'm going to put a little bit of this yellow in with it all just to neutralise my skin. So, mm. and for the application, I'm going to use this MAC 187 brush. So it looks something like that. We'll quickly mix these together. <coughs> Okay, so that's the foundation. Um, now I'm just going to conceal those imperfections um, and just take away any red blemishes. I'm using this correcting stick, colour correction stick. So I'm, because my skin is so dry, I want to give a little bit of a shine to it, just to make it look a little bit more radiant, and being, um, and it will make sense, because we're in summer now, and yeah, it's nice to have a little glow, I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, you can see it more on that side where the light's hitting. So I'm going to use this brush by Emily and it's a true 19 brush and looks like this um, and I'm going to go in not as dark as it may seem so I'm gonna put that all on my lips using this brush 
by Emily two three nine. So get quite a bit on there and tap 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 to get the excess off and then just sort of put it over the top. Okay, so that's that. So that sort of shape we done there earlier on in the crease, we already blended it with that big medium sized brush out. Now we need to blend the line sort of, um on the inside. If you think of it outside, inside, with a little bit of this colour there. So it's very light and it's like an ivory white. So I'm just going to put that there. Blend that out, blend that out, blend that out. And, um, and now I'm going to use this bronzy blush colour. It's called Easy Sun. I don't know what brand it is. I'm just gonna apply a bit of that under the eye there. On the lower lash line. And just a little bit on the outer corner of my eye. Just so I've got those three different little shades of colour in there to give it more dimension. Okay, now I'm using this one by MAC and just line, line my lash line, trying to give it as thin as possible. That's pretty thin. And do the same with the eye, the eye. Now just pulling the eye ever so slightly. Oh god, I think this needs sharpening, but I can't be bothered. I'm actually finding it difficult to stretch my eye on this eye. Side without taking too much foundation off. So, I don't know if you noticed there, I went back to the other eye because sometimes when you do the second eye, it just doesn't match the eye like your first time. So, don't worry about that, just make little adjustments. And this is kind of like my. So, for you to see this, I'm pushing it into my lashes so the line stays fine. Creating that flip. So I've created the flick, let me come back a bit, so I've created the flick but I don't like the sort of line look, I like it sort of a curve, a curved flick. So I'm going to join the outer bit of that, so just from there and come in slightly and then join it all together. You notice what I did there, but I'll try and edit this so you can see it in slow little. So that's that, and then I'm going to do the other eye. Mm -hmm. 
it's always handy to have little cotton buds just to fix up any mistakes but I use my finger there so for that I'm going to use this MUA um, shade one I think it's a bronzer certainly looks like a bronzer so taking it into the hollows of my cheeks up the side of my face and forehead I'm going to step back a little bit so like that and then down the neck into those hollow little bits there gives me more of a burn structure where have you gone? Okay, I found it. So, same eyeshadow little palette from before. I think this colour matches my eyebrows. So, I'm going to use it to just fill my eyebrows in. I mean, I can't match my eyebrows up with my hair because. If I was to do that, you wouldn't see any eyebrows. My hair's pretty much white. So, this is like my natural blonde colour. And the way I'm filling my eyebrows in is following the actual shape that um, the hairs naturally grow. And any areas that don't have any hair just pay more attention to so yeah do the same with this side oh. and this was by Boots so anyone interested in it can go and get it um I'm going to use this blush, which is in here, for my cheeks. It has a slight shimmer in it. So, yeah. I've lost my blush brush. So, I'm using this. <laughs> Come on, light. Why the hell are you so dark? Um, is there a certain way I do this? Um, I do, I'm quite quick because I don't like my lashes to be, like, thick. I just like them to all be coated. Um. So I like this them to be evenly coated really. And the way you do that is be quick so it don't dry up in one certain area and then you're not la layering it again. Under the bottom lashes. Um, I wish I had longer lashes like Lauren Curtis. She's got amazing lashes. Um, and, you know, she has these lovely lashes and she still finds the time to put false ones on, which I find I'm really envious of because I can't be bothered with false lashes. Um, and I think they would be really irritable for me because I, I, I get quite by bad sore eyes from this allergy. Allergy hay fever, so yeah. So yeah. Oh okay. yeah. Um actually outline my lips and fill them in. Mm. 
smart nest. And then over the top of that, I'm going to use this botanics, the power of plants. Ooh, so it's a natural um, lipstick, the power of plants. There isn't enough information for me to actually say this is organic, but I think it is just by the name of it. It's called botanics. I don't know if they're discontinued, but my sister managed to get hold of this somehow, and yeah, I really like the colour. It's like really nice pink. Awesome pink. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh yeah, while we're coming through, so so I just basically have um.